Welcome to your dish on a Friday, and I do believe it's customary. You know, I purchased my first home, and I'm moving in today. It's brand new house. Congratulations! Yeah, we're proud of you. Really and I always thought that that meant uh, my friends would bring casseroles, don't of you? Course. The welcome Plans. wagon. Yes, exactly. Garage door opener that I need installed. If you have friends, they do that, <laughs> and we'll be there. <laughs> really? there'll, there'll be two of us. Yeah, a washer and dryer. Why don't you just put that on Facebook and you'll have a couple a thousand people showing up you. at your door. I'm really excited about it. It's going to be fun really to own my first you. home. So thanks right. for all the well wishes on, on Facebook as well. It's going to be a big weekend, not just for me, but for music fans. Tell you what, do you like country music? Yes. I know the answer you know to that. I do. Grammy Award winner Leanne Womack here in the Mile High, the country music star. Going to head over to Children's Hospital tomorrow for a tour. And then at 530, she's going to perform at the Giddy Up Gala. That concert takes place at the Crooked Willow Farms in Larkspur, and it's Great. a fundraiser for the hospital. Giddy so. up, Gala. Giddy up, Gala. She's terrific. And speaking of stars that are right here in the Mile High, uh, you know this. I'm called the Ryan Seacrest of Greeley. Yes. I am big in Greeley. <laughs> yeah. And now I can live my dream of hanging out with a real American Idol. I told you yesterday, Taylor Hicks, here's a reminder. He's singing tonight at the Rocky Mountain Power Jam. He takes the stage late, close to midnight, over at Cervantes Masterpiece. It's really late. 26th and Welton is the location. And if you'd like tickets to the gig, log on to tothedeuce.com. We'll link you so you can go see them in concert. Speaking of stars, they keep rolling into Denver. You know, we went out there and got the L.A. Um, interviews with the stars of uh, Clips. Robert Pattinson, Taylor Lautner, Kristen Stewart. And now some of those stars are coming to Denver. Tomorrow night, I'll be over at Sloan's Lake Park. We're going to have a big uh, Twilight Festival. Mm. We're going to have two of the stars of the movie, Wolfpack members Tinsel Corey and Boo Boo Stewart. They'll be there signing autographs, chit-chatting with fans, giving away costumes from the movie. Wow. And then they're going to wow. show uh, the new moon on a giant screen tomorrow wow. night. All yeah. goes down at 6 o'clock, Sloan's Lake Park. I'll be there. Hope to see you guys there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Will you be signing autographs too? I will be uh, taking casseroles from my new house <laughs> and anyone that knows how to install a garage door opener. Please meet me there. Yeah, because that doesn't always come with the house, does it? Who knew the garage door <laughs> openers don't come with a new house? Are you bitter about this? I'm a little bitter yeah. about that. I wanted to mention, too, you'll look really tan next to the Twilight stars. But they're wolf pack members, oh. so they're, they're the dark, you know, oh. the wolfy. Oh, so you'll fit in. Okay, good. <laughs> I'll fit right in. Hey, speaking of Twilight, some fans got to see the big names for themselves. Out there in L.A., they lined up for days yeah. for the Los Angeles premiere, and they got a little sneak peek. They've been there since Monday, and the celebrities came out. The stars surprised these desperate fans, and they say they're shocked by the response. You look at all the fans camped out. I was looking from up the building somewhere else up above. It literally looks like a medieval battlefield. These people like, like lining up, waiting, and you're like, oh, okay. I'm ready. I think that the, the fans just keep growing and growing and more people are becoming fans and the age range is getting wider and, and guys and girls and I, I think that's great and, and um, this is like an escape for people and, and I love being a part of that. Don't forget, starting Monday exclusively, tell all your TwiHard fans, only here on this show, you'll hear from Robert, you'll hear from Dakota. We interviewed the entire cast of the movie and got all the Colorado connections with them. In Very fact, cool. Robert Pattinson has a, a, an amazing Denver connection hmm. that we'll tell you about Monday on the program. Great. Well, you know, it's never fun to be the last guy in the room to say, hey, did you hear? And then, uh, you know, everybody already knows. Mm -hmm. The Academy Awards kind of late to the game, so they want to move up the whole ceremony. The Oscars are usually held in March, but by that time, people have already sat through a million ceremonies. Mm, They're done right, with it. They're, uh -huh. They've got the Golden Globes, the SAGs, the BAFTAs. So the Oscars kind of feels like they're late to the party. They want to move now the Oscars to January wow. to make them the first in line and the ultimate authority in movie honors. What do you think? Why not? Let's do it. That's great. We yeah, had but, something I fun mean, in January. The Golden Globes are like the precursors to the Oscars, too. So, you know, if you it get the Golden kind of build Globe, up to yeah. the Oscars. you wonder if you're going to get the Oscar, too. So that would just right. change things up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, from the Golden Globes to the Golden Glow. <laughs> yeah.